What is up guys? You are tripping with Jay. My name is Jay and welcome to my channel where we encourage you to get your passport and travel around the world. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be my full review on the Frontier All You Can Fly Pass or the Go Wild Pass as it's officially known. This video is going to be split up into five sections. So the first section is going to just be the uh, coverage and availability. The second is going to be the cost effectiveness of the pass. The third is going to be the booking process and flexibility. The fourth is going to be service quality. And the fifth is just going to be uh, any additional benefits that come along with the pass that is very uh, noteworthy. So with the first one, coverage and availability. So this is very important with the pass. It hasn't really changed since the beginning. So there are blackout dates here. You can see here, let me try to enlarge it for you guys so you guys can see. It says that flights can be booked and confirmed the day before flight departure for domestic travel and starting 10 days before flight departure for international travel. A lot of people that I've been seeing in the Facebook groups for the Go Wild Pass have been complaining that they are unable to find flights, you know, effectively and, and the availability isn't what it's all cracked up to be. Yeah, I mean, it, it will happen for some folks, but you really have to know the risks that are involved when you purchase a flight pass with these types of stipulations. Of course, there are blackout periods as well. And you can see the ones here for uh, 2023 and 2024. In my personal experience, the availability has been has been OK. I have flown quite a bit with the past. So just to, in all transparency, I've flown to Guadalajara at least two or three times with the past. I've flown to Cancun. That is it. But I do have some upcoming trips to Detroit and Dallas in the next couple of months. So the way that I have I have been using the pass to kind of take advantage of the availability is really checking the website every couple of days to see if they allow uh, a booking window while using the pass. So they in the past in the past <laughs> uh, they have um, Frontier has allowed people with the go wild pass to book further in advance than the one day for domestic travel and the 10 days for international travel. So you have to really stay on it and pay attention to if they allow this once again. That is how I have been taking advantage of the pass because it allows me to kind of pre plan my trips and still book it at a very low fare using the pass. This is a situation where availability and coverage for this pass is is still a your mileage may vary situation. Say for instance, I had on my on my last trip to Guadalajara, I had to uh, look up the flight there, the one way and the return. I was able to book the return flight on the Go Wild Pass, but the flight going to Guadalajara had the the fare for the pass unavailable. Of course, I had to get there <laughs> if I had a flight back, right? So I had to actually pay the full fare for Las Vegas to Guadalajara. Did I go to a Facebook group and complain that the pass is a scam? No, because I read the terms and conditions and the and the FAQs associated with the pass. So I knew the risks. So I knew that um, if I wanted to go to Guadalajara, I just had to pay the full fare and that was okay with me. You have to be extremely flexible with this pass if you wanna use it to its maximum capability. The next part to this is the cost effectiveness of the pass. So I just wanna evaluate the pass's cost relative to my travel needs. So you see here that I have a nice fancy document here just detailing how much money I have saved with the pass compared to the actual original cost of the Go Wild Pass. For me, I took a chance on the pass when it was first initially announced for uh, for the one year pass for $5.99. I said, why not? Let's take a chance. You know, I put I put that up on my YouTube channel. I'm like, yo, if, if I get made fun of for buying the pass at $5.99, cool, it's okay. It's $5.99 because the pass 
for the year now is uh, almost, it's about $2,000. With the trips I've already made, and I haven't even included the second trip to Guadalajara on this list here, I've already made my money back just going to Cancun alone. You guys can see here. If you do the calculations, the savings just on this list here, it's uh, $1,040. My total savings thus far with the past is just over a $1,000, guys. So you, you guys can see that my break even point was on my first trip to Cancun. For me in my own personal situation, the pass has definitely been a game changer, totally worth it. And I'm so glad I took a chance at this pass when it was first announced at $5.99. I thought that was really steep at the time, but now I actually have, I've gotten a lot of value out of the pass. They do have the summer pass for $4.99. I don't think that one's worth it right now because um, at the time of this, this being recorded they do have the fall and winter pass for 299 if you are watching this video now and you have flexible travel from september 2nd to february 29th excluding the blackout dates this is the time to get it for 299 this is a steal and you can really fly all you want as long as you're flexible. The, the next portion I wanna talk about is the booking process and flexibility. So let's look at the ease of booking flights uh, while using this pass. Let's look at the biggest complaint that we have about this pass, which is trying to find available flights. So let's look at a couple of, of routes here just to see if this pass will work properly. If I am looking at a flight from my city that I'm currently in, which is Las Vegas, it may differ for you. And this is why in my initial video, I encouraged people that were in Frontier's hub cities, Orlando, Denver, now Vegas. And I think there are a couple of, couple more cities that have a lot of flights to and from uh, with Frontier. I highly encourage them to get this pass because it's extremely useful for these folks to fly as much as they want. So if I wanna uh, theoretically book a domestic flight, let's go to Detroit for instance, right? So it's one day before, that's one of the rules. So let's book a flight for tomorrow on a Sunday, one way. Let's see if there are any flights available. But you guys can see here, you know, not available, right? And this is one of the main complaints that has to be addressed with the pass is the availability. Like, hey, if I book a one way, can I get back to my home city? We don't know, it's, it's all on availability. Let's see if we can find something that is available. Let's go to Miami tomorrow. I feel like going to Miami, let's go not available. Interesting. Let's see if we can find a flight to Dallas, Fort Worth for tomorrow. Also none available. So you may ask yourself, is this pass useful? It all depends on your personal situation. So if you purchased the pass on day one, and you were able to take advantage of the advanced booking windows where you could book those flights and trips in advance, then yes. However, if you are late to the game and you waited for people to test the pass out and now you wanna use the pass and you are limited to that one day in advance period, I would definitely err on the side of caution. Really be diligent about reading the terms and conditions and the FAQs about the pass so you're not uh, disappointed when you can't either get to your destination or get back to your home city. However, I think the real advantage with this pass is international travel. And as you guys saw on, on my member profile, I literally use this pass to go to Mexico two to three to four to five times already with the pass. And it has been amazing so far to go international to Mexico. So let's theoretically book a trip to Cancun from Vegas. Now remember international travel is 10 days before you travel. So let's book it for a random Tuesday. I just feel like going to Cancun on a random Tuesday. I like going to Playa del Carmen. It's a lot, walk, lot more walkable than Cancun. And yeah, you see availability here guys. And the cost is $76. And that is a 53% less than in the standard fare that they have here for 162, which which 162 still not bad. One way on Frontier. If you plan on traveling traveling internationally 
and you are in one of these hub cities that is easily accessible to international destinations, this is where the pass is a true cheat code. And this is what I would recommend the pass being used for if you are able to access these international destinations pretty readily. So the next part of the video, I wanna talk about service quality with Frontier. So what we're talking about here, we're considering the overall service quality provided by Frontier. If they're on time with their planes, their customer service and condition of the aircraft, this may or may not be important to other people and important to others. With my experience of flying with Frontier as a whole and using the pass, you your bag better damn near fit in that uh, personal item box if you didn't buy a carry-on, right? You've heard these horror stories on social media and TikTok of people's bags not fitting in the sizer box properly. I guess the, the gate agents really being strict in Orlando, especially in Denver. I found a product that was specifically designed to fit in those boxes, particularly for Frontier. Frontier. I'm going to do a separate review on it and it is it's called takeoff luggage it is the it's almost the size of a regular carry-on it fits in the personal item box once you take the wheels off of the luggage and uh, subscribe to the channel to see that review coming soon because this thing was a freaking lifesaver flying on Frontier I did not have to pay for any baggage fees while using this thing and it right now the word has gotten out quite a bit about this this luggage and it's very difficult to find. I'll give you guys ways to find it. There are definitely a few outlets to find this luggage, but I highly recommend if you get this pass and you don't have elite status, get this luggage now. To definitely hit on Frontier's service quality, uh, aircraft are fine. I believe they primarily use Airbus A320s. Super quiet aircraft. Every flight I've, I've really taken has been on time. I haven't had too many delayed flights. Maybe once coming back from Cancun, I was okay. Overall, the service quality for Frontier. Customer service is pretty decent. I haven't had, I literally have nothing negative to say and this video is not sponsored. It, it, it just is what it is, man. You you really you really know what you're getting. You're just getting on the plane. It's taking you from uh, point A to point B. That's it, no frills. Eat at the airport. The final point I wanna make with this video is any additional benefits. So I just wanna look at any additional perks or benefits that come with the all you can fly pass. There are none besides flying whenever you want depending on availability there are no additional benefits however there are a couple of travel benefits that you can get with travel credit cards such as the venture x card the american express platinum and the chase sapphire reserve card that i highly recommend if you don't already have one of those cards to get it asap the one of the best benefits is definitely lounge access having lounge access has saved me a ton of money and headaches when I have layovers or delays at an airport that is not my home airport, because odds are there is a lounge uh, within the Priority Pass network that I can go into, grab a bite to eat, grab a couple of drinks, and I'd uh, have a good time during my layover and not have to really worry about spending money on airport priced food. That's honestly pretty much it for any additional benefits. With the pass is nothing, but with those travel credit cards, you do get to reap those benefits even more the more that you travel. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Is the pass worth it? Well, my answer is it depends. It depends on your own personal situation. One, do you live in one of the hub cities for Frontier? Two, are you accessing primarily international destinations? Three, is your schedule flexible enough to take advantage of the domestic travel restrictions of 24 hours or a day before you want to travel? If you can answer yes to two out of those three, I would highly recommend getting this pass, especially if you live in a hub city that it has like a nonstop flight to an international destination because you can you can plan those out 10 days in advance, which that is a true cheat code. Use this to go international, man. Get your passport and go. Mexico, Jamaica, Dominican Republic, Guatemala, Costa Rica, El Salvador. Man, they have a whole a whole lot more like St. Martin. They have different international destinations that you can access from the US nonstop. If you live in one of those cities, man, Orlando, if you live in Orlando, get this pass, get your passport, get this pass. It's very worth it. But overall, am I satisfied with the pass from how I've used it so far? Yes, 100%. 
Yes. It does it not work for some people? Yes. There's not, there's never gonna be a product that works for everybody. The best that you can do is make it the most informed decision possible. So read up on this pass as much as you can, read the terms and conditions, look at the FAQs and the Facebook groups that are, that are available for this uh, Go Wild Pass before you actually purchase it to determine if it's a good buy or a right fit for you. Good job, Frontier. Th thank you so much for just providing the opportunity for people to fly as much as they want, man. I, because I truly believe that the, if it wasn't for this Go Wild Pass, I wouldn't have been able to go to Mexico, uh, which is one of my favorite countries. To I wouldn't be able to, to go to these these places as many times as I already have. But thank you guys for making it to the end of this video. I hope that you gained some type of value from this full review. I wanted to give it some time before I did the full review just so I can kind of gather all of my thoughts about the past, using it and seeing if it's viable for other people as well. But please inform yourself as much as possible before you drop that amount of money uh, for this pass, especially if you're buying the one year pass for 2K. Uh, my name is Jay. You have been tripping with Jay. Share this if you gain some value from it. Thank you guys. Peace. Mm -hmm.